And hello from Humberside, the venue for this game is the KCOM Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Hull City up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. We should be in for a belter here with these two. Well, as you can see, our hosts know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Lee, they have the most potent attack in the league. Yeah, well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late. Bodes well for the neutrals today. Should be an entertaining match, Derek. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And the match is underway. Harrop. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? McGinn. Giving the ball away. Arangis. John McGinn. Promising sequence. And the ball's gone. Takes aim. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the goal again. And he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked and rightly punished. Schoolboy stuff. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. Tyrone Mings. Traore. Well read to win possession back. Well, that's not textbook defending. And he read it superbly. I understand there's been a goal in the Millwall game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 16 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Oh, surely... And a goal it is! They lead by two now! Fully deserved! Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. It's going their way. 2-0. Long staff. Top class defending. 
And really closing him down here. Tyrone Mings on the ball, Sven Bender. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Fabio Silva. Well, couldn't keep it. And do they mean business on this occasion? Well, that's not watertight defending. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low possession. Sonny March. Konstantinos Fortunis. McGinn. Traore. John McGinn. Bertrand Traore has it. Can he play it in? It has to be! Can they keep it out? Well, no damage done. Fabio Silva. This might be ideal for the counter. March. In with a chance. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And as we highlight him, you've got to say that he hasn't been playing to his usual high standards in this match. Normally so very composedly. Well, Derek, he's not the only reason why his team are losing today, but he's so influential normally, he definitely will feel the pain of this performance. And that's an important intervention. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And space available inside. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far... So Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Well, in one of the other games, the referee I'm hearing has pointed to the spot. More details from Allen. It's a penalty for Middlesbrough. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Power it is, high to the goalkeeper's left. No chance. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. And he might be through here. And now he must score. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the replay. The timing of the run gets him behind the defenders, and a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Well, this is the home of live football and more live action from the Championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Hull City facing Accrington Stanley. Yeah, Derek, should be a great atmosphere there. It's one I would be tuning in for if I wasn't there with you. Sven Bender onto Arangis. It might be on for them. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a long way out here. 
And a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, Derek, as we see this again, just look how much movement he gets on this. Up and down as well as bend. It's unstoppable. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. A news coming through from the Riverside where there's been a goal. Let's get that news from Allen. It's a third goal for Middlesbrough. 60 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Allen. Might be a chance here. It's got to be. It must go in, surely. He had to score, and he does. Well, here's a goal again, and it's all about the build-up. Great little one-touch passing move. The ball moved quickly, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Great team effort. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Well, this really ought to be a championship game to savour. It's live on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Sheffield United. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. Grealish. Well read to win possession back. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. A real opening now. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. And let's go to Alan McAnally now because there's been a goal in the Millwall match. Alan? It's a second goal for Crystal Palace. It's been scored by Connor Wickham. The ball arrived at his feet at the far post and he stabbed it home. 73 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Matty Longstaff. Paslak. Fabio Silva. Could be a chance to break here. March. Sonny March. A wonderful intervention. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Oh, big chance. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as we see again here, it's a beauty of a ball over the top. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Throw-ins given. Konstantinos Fortunis. It's with Nakamba. Fortunis has it. Marvellous Nakamba. Textbook defending inside the box. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Silva. It's a good-looking ball in behind. He's got to score! Opportunity missed. <laughs> Tyrone Mings. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Well, Derek, as we said, this team love a goal fest. 
and they certainly know where the target is. 